Ready for a break, dear? How'd you guess? And a Kit Kat. Kit Kat? Yes, please. Just what I need. This year is the 80th anniversary of Kit Kat, and so we decided to research the, the history of the chocolate bar. And one of the interesting things that we discovered is that the chocolate bars are named after a man called Christopher, who made pies in the 17th century. The Kit Kat Club was a very influential club that contained many influential writers and politicians. Christopher Catlin was the pastry chef who cooked the meat pies called Kit Kats after him that the gentlemen ate when they met on a Thursday for the Kit Kat Club. Ready for a Kit Kat, Anne? Kit Kat? Yes, please. Just what I need. They're so crispy inside. Mmm, I like the chocolate too. We can prove the connection between the Kit Kat Club and the chocolate bar because we have some chocolate box lids that feature not just Christopher Catling but his shop and the name of the club. And we followed that story all the way to London where we have visited some of the spots where the Kit Kat Club used to hold their meetings. Kit Kat being what it is and me being what I am, we seem to come together quite natural this time of the morning. A few years later, when Roundtree's made their Kit Kat chocolate bar, they decided to transfer the name from the chocolate box to the bar. So we can see a perfect timeline of the name of the club being transferred to a chocolate box and a chocolate bar. While we've been researching the history of the name and the chocolate box, we've discovered something extraordinary. There's one known painting of Christopher Catling and it's missing. There is one reference to a portrait of Christopher Catlin in a 19th century catalogue showing him looking quite gnarly and wearing some kind of handkerchief on his head, but we don't know where the picture is today. We want to know if anybody out there has this painting in their attic. Do they have the only known portrait of the man after whom Kit Kats were named? Crisp, isn't it? Mm, the chocolate's nice too.